Hi everyone, Ginger here. So I've had the dream uh, for several days and uh, today I woke up and it wasn't working. So ladies out there, um, don't ignore swelling and don't ignore increase in pain. I noticed that it was hurting more yesterday, but I thought, you know, it, it, that's just the nature of the beast. Then I woke up this morning and I noticed that it looked like the waterbed was refilling again, you know, in the seroma. And when you palpate it, you know, that's what it feels like, like you're touching a waterbed. It did not look the same though. So I thought, okay, fluid is accumulating. It's not draining, but it doesn't look terrible. That can be misleading. So I just want to encourage you, don't ignore swelling and don't ignore an increase in pain. I didn't, so I went back to the surgeon today um, who graciously worked me in and it was clogged. There was a nice, you know, ugly, bloody mess that was clogging it up um, that I couldn't reach or couldn't possibly fix myself. So they were able to strip that, fix it, get it working again, which was good. And immediately, um, 75 cc's came out and then another 25, like straight away. So a hundred. So that tells me even though the seroma didn't look the same as when I got a hundred cc's out of it before, it doesn't matter. A hundred cc's came from other places um, and it did not have to be as big as it was before to get the same amount of fluid out. So that's just kind of a, a heads up for you guys going through this um, to pay attention to it and that the seroma does not have to look the same to have as much or more fluid in it um, as the first time you noticed it. I also went out and got a Jovi pack today. I have a wonderful um, um, store, there's a wonderful store down, down the way a little bit uh, called Second to Nature in Greensboro. And they are completely outfitted with everything that you would need uh, related to lumpectomies, mastectomies, mastectomies, um, anything to do at all with, um, you know, breast cancer. And then, and then those that, <clears throat> you know, like me or have a benign situation going on, but still are going through all the same stuff. So they were able to um, get me fit in, uh, fit in there to the schedule to get a nice fit for a Jovi pack, which is a, a great way of compressing under the arm. You can, you know, see a, a little bit of under here, compression um, of the axilla area, which is kind of hard to compress. And the drain is in a place that my binder doesn't feel like it uh, is tolerable, although I am gonna try it again soon. So ideally would be to you know, if, as long as you're, that's what your surgeon wants, is to um, wear your binder on top of everything that's going on with the drain. I haven't been able to get there yet, but I'm also not taking anything for, for pain at all either. So I'll get there. I'll try it again tomorrow and see if it'll work. I think with the Jovi back now, it's gonna help. And I might be able to actually go back to the compression. Um, so for, for some women out there, you may experience what I experienced, like a week in of wearing the binder. You start to get skin breakdown, and I washed it, and you know, do all the things you're supposed to do, but still, if that aggravation of the Velcro against your skin, you might have to put something underneath it, and then, you know, if it's hot outside, you've got all these layers, and the binder, and the drain. It's a lot, I get it. It can be really uncomfortable. It is uncomfortable. But I can tell you after unclogging this drain, I have a lot less pain. My Labrador came to come, came to see me. Uh, she's the only female in the house, so she kind of gets what I'm feeling. Um, so she's she came in to see me. That's what you heard in the background. Um, so don't ignore swelling. Don't ignore that pain. Obviously, I am not able to do a lot. I am working soft tissue in the neck. I'm still, you know, rolling the massage ball. This is getting tighter and tighter because even shoulder rolls are kind of difficult to do. Um, I'm not able to range the shoulder and it's probably recommended that I don't right now. So I'm laying off of that. It will be more comfortable. Maybe I'll be able to take some, you know, some walks and, and that kind of thing. Um, 
coming up in the next few days, but I am coming up soon in a few days on a week of wearing the binder. I mean, excuse me, of having the drain. Um, and it may be another week. We'll, we'll see. I just uh, am rooting all of you on out there that are going through this, that are um, trying to juggle, you know, things during a pandemic, um, homeschooling, you know, three kids to, to, to keep up with and a business that is um, on pause, which doesn't happen. Uh, businesses, you know, your own business when you're self-employed do not get a pause. So that is interesting to keep up with for me too. And um, and I'm in the middle of some other projects, but right now what's most important is healing and recovery. And like I said in my previous video, it's a blip. You'll get through it and you will have more grace, more patience, more resilience, more strength. Um, and, and it will work out no matter what, you know, the, the conclusion, you know, maybe or how long it takes for you to get better. Um, I was going to say one more thing, but I still think I have a bit of a foggy brain, so it's hard for me to recall everything that I want to say with, without making notes or anything. I, I, I don't write anything down. I just talk to you like I'm in the room with you. Um, the last thing that I wanted to mention was, <laughs> other than rest and trying to get sleep um, and positioning the shoulder in such a way that it is protected and that you won't twist or pull the drain out. I was afraid of that, that the drain would get kinked. Make sure that you are, you know, kind of in a safe space. So I've got my bed uh, all to myself. My husband is sleeping in a different room for that reason, because I am, you know, take up the whole bed trying to get comfortable so that I don't twist this drain or, or move it in any way. So, um, I can't remember the last thing that I was going to say. I'll put it in my notes uh, in the video if I can remember it. Thank you. Oh, this is what I was going to say. <laughs> Thank you for your support. I did these because if I'm going through pain or trauma, I want to use it to help somebody else. That's like my knee-jerk reaction is I'm not going through this for nothing. This can help somebody else. And so with my grogginess and fogginess and all my slips and you know misspeaking and whatever else I've, I've messed up on while I've been doing these videos it's been because I'm not scripting anything I'm talking to you about what the issues are right now so I want to help if you you know do have questions um, and you just want to reach out Instagram Facebook whatever then do that I'll be glad to point you towards resources that I've been able to use. I've had the excellent help of wonderful colleagues in physical therapy that, you know, if you're not in healthcare, maybe you don't know how to navigate this and it can be scary and hard and painful. I get it. So that's why I'm really doing these videos. I'm happy to point you to the experts um, that are helping me get through this. And if I can help you, you know, as a physical therapist, I'm glad to aim you in the right direction that way as well. But I just want to thank every single person who has been giving me support through this really um, hard time of doing this during a pandemic, when everybody needs to get back to work, um, when the kids are at school, you know, homeschooling and all this craziness. It's too much for any person to handle. So I understand it. I get it. And I feel that pain for other people. It hurts my heart. So thank you for extending the support and love to me that you have. Um, via Instagram and Facebook and some emails and I'm getting some cards and letters. Oh my God, they're amazing. So thank you. Thank you to infinity. <laughs> um, and back again. I hope that when I do my next video, I'll have better stuff to report. My mental health feels a little better today. I, not much has changed here. In fact, I had another little setback, but I feel like I'm positive and plugging forward, you know, moving forward. Um, even though physically kind of stagnant, you know, but I'm moving in the right direction. So encouragement, two fists in the air. This one's a little lower than the other one. You can do it. You can get through it. Please reach out and thank you for your support. Bye.